you how to create all these stickers on Canva for free and just letting you know that you might want to get the free trial of the pro version so if you don't want to pay just create a gmail account and then you know create a lot of things download them and never use the pro version again and then just keep creating the gmail accounts however i will also show you what to do if you don't want to even do that if you want to just use completely everything for free and without any further ado let's get started so first i will show you how to create uh, washi tapes then i'll show you how to create these nice uh, images that match in color so kind of you know dried flower uh, vintage feel and then i'll also show you how to create objects and last but not least i will show you different variations of text that you could be creating and uh, some shapes some basic shapes so let's get started with uh, washi tape and just one thing is that you will need to create a new design and you just do it by create design and then you choose the size i would choose a4 uh, you can make it bigger, smaller, too small because if the file is too small, the quality is going to be too bad and you can't make it huge because then your planner will load really slow. So we want, but in general, I would rather have it too big and then make compress the file and make it smaller than the other way around. So I would rather make it a little bigger. Now, so let's start with the washi tape. I'll just add a new page and then I'm gonna go to elements. And actually, if you just type in washi tape, you already have, so all of these are actually, these ones are free, but you have some paid ones as well as you can see. So these are a lot of options that you can already use and I could already add uh, once I add it, I can make it smaller. I'm holding an option key to minimize everything on, you know, if I want, if I held this shift key, it does, you know, kind of, uh, it doesn't minimize the image, it just, just destroys it, I would say. And if I just hold it uh, without anything, then it just makes it smaller on one side. And then if you hold the option key, then it uh minimizes it from all sides so that's what i prefer so we can just add all kinds of washi tapes and once you decided which style you kind of like whether it's pro or not uh, what you can do next is change the color so what i usually do as you can see here i immediately change the color of multiple ones so i would just uh maybe choose three and then I would just copy them and maybe you know I would change their places but basically I want to create multiple washi tapes immediately so that you know I have different color color options and one good trick is to group them so I didn't do it before but you can do it now so once I group them what I can do is I can just select all of them and change their position so they're all nice and aligned you can also make them in the center if that's what i prefer so maybe i want it in the center and i want to create more washi tapes so i can do that i can make them smaller all that okay so now when we ungroup it we can change the color so i just choose one click edit image and there are multiple ways you can do that so you can add a filter and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, you also if you click on the filter you can choose the intensity which is nice then you can also go lower and choose photogenic so here you have all these different colors that you already see so you can kind of you know choose that and then this one you can do the same now the way i prefer to do that usually is I like to go to image and choose adjust, see all, and then change the color here. So I just choose the color from these, whichever I want. And then I usually um, make it a little bit faded, or you can do the same with uh, reducing the saturation. 
and you can also change whether it's warm or cool so i like i like that color so that's what i would do and then unfortunately i can't just select all of them i will have to choose them individually um, however if they're grouped i can then edit them in the group which is quite comfortable and i can just do it like that oh no it's still edits just one image so that's kind of uh, annoying but it is what it is okay so our washi tape is done but we can add some more options so for example if i add paper then i can just uh, choose one and drag it and make it smaller and that way i create my own washi tape another thing i could do is actually change the transparency so i could make it like this and that way it's transparent so if i put it over as you can see uh, now it's transparent okay washi tape is done next up we have these dried flowers so let me just create a new page and then i will just write dried flower as you can see canva helps you quite a bit with this and then we choose from all the flowers so these are actually free and once i choose that i can have magic recommendations i'm just gonna see all so that's how i'm gonna do it so let me just add a couple of flowers here so i'm gonna have uh, like a rose and what we're gonna do next we're gonna switch their colors so especially if you're ever selling digital art you can't really sell it just like this you have to change the color you have to uh, change the image otherwise it's illegal to sell i don't know about canva in particular but that's how it usually goes and let's add some more so as you can see there's a lot of pretty flowers and actually i like them so much that for my own personal use i would just keep them all now with their original color but now let's change the color so again we're gonna decrease the contrast um, maybe make them pink or blue i don't know let's make them all pink so as you can see i this is how easily i can change the um, the colors and kind of make them the same another thing you could do is you could actually use lightroom presets if that's something you would want me to show you just leave a comment below so then you would just add the whole image and it would immediately adjust all the tones now this one let's make it also and i can also decrease the warmth so it just um, adjusts the color even more so as you can see now all of them are looking quite similar this one it has a little bit of green so i need to desaturate it and also make it more pink and I could easily just copy this and then just change everything to let's say blue so that way I can create a lot of stickers um, quickly or orange or green or whatever color I prefer so let's say I'm going for blue um, and then you can also just copy the number and paste it here um, and that way it will you know do it for you the only thing i'll mention is that as you can see uh images are different so you will need to adjust the settings a little bit to make it look the way you want it to look but there are some looks that are quite the same but it's just this for example it doesn't look as good without the saturation as it does with or you know a little bit more so and also i could adjust the contrast to make it pop a little bit so yeah that's basically it and i'm done with my flowers and this is what we kind of look for and what we do now next up we have the objects so for the objects it's extremely easy all I need to do is again, I will just type in camera, for example, I will just type in the object I want. And once I do, I can just use it. So this one is actually, it pops up. I don't need to do anything to it. However, I could technically, well, not technically, I could change the color of it if I want. So let's say I want to decrease the saturation. Well, it's not, it doesn't have color, so that doesn't matter. But 
here I could have it matching my theme of these flowers so once I put it in the theme it's more matchy than you know this one this one we could also make it match just by adding a blob to it or just you know black and white so that matches everything but we could also just add a little shape um, and this is animated let me yeah so like this and what I can do I can put it under um, so to put it under you would go to position and just go to back or use a shortcut and then I can also change the color so I'll just click the plus sign and then I'm gonna choose the color picker tool and then I'm gonna choose one of the colors of the flower so as you can see now it's matching the flowers and that's quite nice and I can also just copy it with the blob and make it maybe a little bit bigger and then again I can just choose the blob and click plus click the color picker and then match it to a different flower so it's extremely easy and it's easy to make them look a little bit uh, different um, just by by changing colors and you know by changing the shapes behind them okay next step uh, let's say you want an Apple watch so there's a couple of things you could do so first you could choose one of these watches that are free some of them are some of them aren't but let's say I like this watch and I want to remove the background now you could click edit image and now the background remover for Canva is not free so you do need to um, you do need to pay for this version uh, so just get a free trial or we can go to Google and oh, sorry <laughs> we can go to Google and we just can type in Adobe um, background remover and once we do that it's completely sign in but it's not really um, a problem I've already signed in you don't need to pay for this so just keep that in mind uh, let me just make it like that okay so then I can browse the image so let's say I go to Pexels and choose an image that I like of an Apple watch um, let's say this one make sure that there's the background is not too busy that way you're gonna gonna help um, them to make that image and then I can just drop it and wait and then it's gonna remove the background for me so and you can also you know do that in bulk so just download quite a, a couple of them and that way it's you know it's gonna be quicker for you to just remove all of them okay so here you see the background is removed and then I can click download or I can customize I'm gonna download okay so I, I need to sign up or sign in um, I think I did it yesterday so I'm just gonna try to go with my Google account and that's something you will need to do however um, again it's free so really easy okay so now it's just gonna load and in here I actually have more options to edit my image as well which is nice um, as you can see I can change the background, I can change the filters, add a blur if I want to. Let me move myself. You can, okay, cookies, bye. Um, you can also change the colors. So this is adding a color to the background. Um, I'm not gonna add that. You can also blur uh, the image and you will check out all these um, so these, I think the colors are probably going to be a little better controlled than it is on Canva, which is nice. Mm, and we also have some filters, so you can just add them. But yeah, so for example, I could choose two different colors and that way immediately know the color of my image. Okay, I'm not going to do any of it. I'm going to just go back, back, back. And we also even have some templates. So there's a lot of stuff that you can use um, here and it's pretty similar to Canva, so it's not hard to figure it out. And here I have my watch. 
and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna download and we need to download a PNG if we want the transparent background so I'm gonna start download and I'm choosing transparent PNG and that's it that's my image is here and then I can easily upload it to Canva and you see this is this wasn't really uh, well cut but sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't it really depends on the image itself and now we have the apple watch and we can make it bigger and there it is so again you don't need a pro account to do any of this okay next up we have um, some text so phone is the same you would do just go to elements and search for a phone um, next let's go for the text and let's see what you can do with text actually so let me just copy this now whenever you do a handwritten text um, it is a little bit more complicated to keep it transparent if you download it from Canva a hundred percent it's gonna keep it transparent however if you uh, download it from Adobe that's kind of um, a question how it's gonna go so let me just try it out and let me just download a PNG and show you exactly what I mean by that um, so the more intricate the details the more trouble they will have uh, why did you do this Adobe okay now I have to sign in again right <laughs> okay let's upload a photo how well it does it but honestly Adobe is pretty see this is perfect okay so now you don't even understand what's my problem okay a little bit on the edges um, if I do have a white background I could use um, a white background here now if I download it from Canva it is gonna be perfect but you have to make sure that the this layer is completely empty so this is one of my favorite fonts um, so this is really self-explanatory but what we can do is we can go to text and here we have a a lot of possibilities for us which sometimes I like to use because all of these fonts are already aligned so they are aesthetically pleasing also you could find some fonts that are with glow now this doesn't look good on a white background however if I put a blob um, behind it and let's make it maybe pink or dark or whatever okay this is added image so that's I don't like those because I want it to be a shape so I can easily change the color um, here and see so now it looks much better when it is on a darker background so this is something to keep in mind as well if you want to use neon text and this text I can completely change I can change it to whichever fonts I like and actually it's one of the effects so it's just the neon effect so canva has quite a few uh, text effects that you could use um, if you go here and you go to effects you can just uh, kind of play around with it and even change the way it looks which is nice and even change the color of the shadow and stuff like that so there's a lot to get into it but I'm sure that if you just go and try around you can figure it out if not let me know and one more thing I want to show you that's also related to text so let me just choose another maybe this one here I like this or this um, and what we are going to do with this so a pretty cool effect is to add just squares to it and it looks like it's um, cut from some newspaper or something or a scary message to somebody so I'm gonna ungroup this I'm gonna um, move this and let me just play with this so I'm gonna put it behind it so I can uh, move this very easily and I'm also gonna change the transparency now one thing I want to do immediately is change the letter spacing so I have more space and now so now I can just add it um, I still feel like it's a little too big maybe now they can all be the same or they can be a little bit different and a little bit more quirky 
So in real life, you will never have something like this completely aligned perfectly. So that's why I'm gonna just move move it around. However, I don't know if you notice it, but I am playing around with the shape. I'm creating a little curve. So this is a little bit up. This is a little bit lower and so on. So it kind of, it has a system. So that way it doesn't look completely messy, but it has a little bit of a mess so that it looks more natural. So that's what we would do. And now I can just select all of it and select the text, click on the text again. So it deselects it. Um, okay. Maybe it's going to be a problem because the text is kind of, no, it's fine. So now I can just do this and I can uh, change the transparency if I want to. And once I do, I would have to put them in the back. Um, let me just create multiple versions. So that's what I would do, honestly. I would create multiple versions for it. And another thing, what I would probably do, um, I would... I would choose the text and delete it and just keep these for uh, and kind of as a sticker so that in Canva it's really in Canva in GoodNotes it's really easy for me to just change it um, and again here I can't select the text and the reason is because the square is on top of the text and transparent so if I send it to back for example um, that way I can select the text so that's really nice and I can also change the color to white and let me just add all of the text to the front so one thing that I really recommend is to learn a couple of shortcuts so you would just uh, go here and see what the shortcuts say because it makes it a lot easier now if you change these colors of these uh, squares as well it could be a nice effect so I could for example change them to this and maybe this one as well and then I can also add it and I can add it on top or what I can do instead of making them like squares like that I can go to paper and then I can choose just a paper that I like so just look for a texture that's pleasing to you like let's say I want this one and then what I can do is I can minimize it or make it into these squares and then I can kind of, you know, make it look like washi tape or just stuff behind. So that way it has this nice effect as well. And again, you may want to move it, a like turn it a little bit so that it looks like, uh, it looks turned. And for the last thing is for the shapes so you have lines and shapes and here you can really find most shapes like that people use like uh, you know some sticky notes or stuff so what i would do honestly i would just take one and i would just add a bunch of them and download it for my canva so that i have them and then inside canva i can make them work however i want so that's quite nice so if i turn on uh good notes i can show you how it looks like so now um now you can either uh download it if you have the free word uh, the paid version you can download it as a png and it's going to be transparent already or you download it as a png then go to adobe creative cloud upload it upload the image here and download the image so you have the transparent background if you don't need the transparent background it can, if it can okay let's go to good notes and and here i've already uploaded um, the images and then if i click on them i can um, crop them so i can crop them and i can use freehand and then just let's say i want a pin again if you want this pin all you need to do is uh, look for a pin, just type in pin on Canva element search. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you enjoy this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, just let me know and see you in the next one. Bye.